Hello, my name is Edwin Michael. And my name is Siti Sarashide Binti Ibrahim. My name is Norelena Binti Muhammad Kairi. We are from MMC 101A. In this assignment that was given to us, we will discuss the problem of obscene lyrics in music. Music plays a great role in everyone's life because we listen to them all the time such as in the cars, during study time and during special occasions. There are various types of music which we can enjoy, for example, pop, hip-hop, rock, indie and R&B. Listening to music can help in, dis in distressing and relaxing the mind as well and motivates us to do something better in life. However, explicit lyrics are, major, are a major problem in today's society. Today's pop, popular music now contains a lot of explicit vulgar lyrics which are considered offensive and unsuitable for children. The lyrics above are examples of explicit lyrics in music. These lyrics could lead to violent thoughts and actions to the children when they grow up. Now we are going to show you a video of a young teenage girl singing a song with explicit lyrics. Fuck with you. You little stupid ass bitch, I ain't fucking with you. You little, you little dumb ass bitch, I ain't fucking with you. I got a million trillion things that I'd rather fucking do. Alright, fuck it. That's what we're doing, alright. Then I be fucking with you. Little stupid ass, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't, I don't, I don't give a fuck. Fucking with you. Yep. Little stupid ass, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't give a fuck, bitch. Yeah, I don't music. give a fuck about you and anything that you do. Don't give a fuck about music you and anything that you do. Okay. Who's the loser now, Trisha? Bully this bitch. Oh my. I was unaware of the lyrics and and the strong language in that song so I do apologize but uh, you know what uh, I apologize for nothing else now let's have a look on the history of obscene lyrics in music according to Chirico in 2016 in 1950s when rock and roll was first introduced rock was considered rebellious violent and even immoral the mention of the term rock and roll simply encouraged controversies in which thought to suggest sexual representation as rock began to be famous, it was met with verbal attacks of being insensitive and wild, and dangerous, contagious disease, with music appealing to teenage insecurity that drove teenagers to do weird things. Attempt as you may, the, ne the nearest you will get to finding real swear words in melodies of the 50s would be in indicative references in a song as Bartholomew Dave's My ding -ling which was later made famous by Chuck Berry. First things first, let us understand the definition of an explicit song. An explicit song is defined when the lyrics or content of a song or a music video contain one or more of the following criteria below, which could be considered offensive or unsuitable for children, such as strong language, images of reference to violence, physical mental abuse, or reference to images of sexual behavior, racist, homophobic, misogynistic, or other language, or behavior that could be considered discriminatory. The lastly, dangerous or criminal behavior which could glamorize such behavior or may encourage others to imitate it. For artists and managers must label their tracks as explicit if their content includes drugs. Lyrics that portrays using, buying, selling, and finding drugs in a graphic and detailed way must be more explicit. Racial, subtle references, general statements, and education against drugs are excluded. For example, let's get high is not a graphic or detailed enough to be more explicit. Secondly, inflammatory lyrics. Lyrics that contain racial descriptions or slurs must be more explicit. If the majority of a song lyrics 
contain hate speech will be removed. Thirdly, profanity. Lyrics or album art that contain any use of profanity must be marked explicit. Profanity is defined as offensive curse words. Next, sexual references. Lyrics that describe sexual acts in a detailed way must be marked explicit. Variation, subtle references, and general statements are excluded. For example, making love is not detailed enough to be marked explicit. And lastly, violence. Lyrics or album art that encourage or portrays graphic and detailed violence against people or animals must be marked explicit. Moving on to the next part, which is inappropriate content in music. First is explicit lyrics. Hip-hop and different types of music have met with disapproval for lyrics with vivid references to drugs, sex, brutality, and hatred aimed towards women, minorities, gays, and lesbians. Pop stars, for example, Katy Perry, might be advertised under a girl power appearance, yet they are truly preaching to their generally pre pubescent groups of audience are grown up sexuality. Second is parental advisory labels. In 1990, the U.S. recording industry initiated parent ad advisory labels to recognize music containing graphic lyrics including portrayals of violence and sex. Parental advisory labels are printed at the base right off of a CD's cover. They are found in a similar place in the album art included with digital downloads. Third is music videos. Music videos are a powerful medium since they consolidate the dynamism of music with the influence of visual image. While kids frequently don't consider lyrics of their favorite songs, the visual images that go with the music on TV or the internet have a lot more effect since they are difficult to miss. Fourth is negative effects of music. According to the Personality Social Psychology, Psychology Bulletin in 2009, there is proof that tuning into music with sexual substance in the lyrics makes young, youngsters pro more prone to begin engaging in sexual activities sooner than their peers. Music also contains a great deal of business content, generally as product placement, both in lyrics and in videos, quite a bit of which is for alcohol. Now we are going to talk about on how songs with explicit lyrics came to dominate the charts. According to Ross in 2017, more than 60% of Billboard 100 number one songs that charted in 2017 feature explicit lyrics. A new report shows based on Spotify API data, our preference for obscenity filled lyrics has grown extremely since the Billboard 100 started in 1958. Statistics indicate that up till 2001, only five songs with explicit lyrics made it to number one. But from there on, expi explicit chart toppers have rocketed by 833%. The study, as mentioned by Ross in 2017, exploring six decades of Billboard 100 number one singles by data analyst Mark Bannister, defines explicit songs based on Spotify's labeling. Artists must tag whether a song is considered explicit or not when it is uploaded and Spotify's, Spotify's website declares it makes both the clean and explicit types accessible. Founder of the Songwriting Academy, Martin Sutton, believes that ex ex escalation refers to attitude changes. One reason is that the more we are exposed to explicit material, the less effect it has so it gets gradually stronger. Songs with challenging subjects 10 years ago wouldn't make much impact now. He says, the increase of hip-hop over the last 20 years has also led to an ex increase in explicit ideas, and youngsters are being exposed to this. So it becomes the normal cursing over social media is grow into a normal thing, he adds. Next, we will discuss about impact of music and music lyrics on children and youth. First, research on the popular music has explored its effect on schoolwork, social interactions, mood and effect, and particularly behavior. The effect of this on children and adolescents' behavior and emotion is an important concern. Lyrics have become more explicit in their references. 
to drugs, sex, and violence in the years and particularly in certain gender. Next, listening to popular music is considered by society to be a part of growing up. Music can serve as a way to release tension and boredom because it provides entertainment and distraction from problems. Some studies have reported that adolescents use popular music to deal with loneliness and to take control of their emotional status or mood. There are Next, there are specific concerns related to the lyrics of some music genre and their effects on children and adolescents. Heavy metals and some rock music are linked in several studies with an increase, increased risk of suicide. This type of music has been reported to do problems with school authorities and teachers. It can make the students more depression, raise behaviors, smoking and handling problems. They also show a higher tendency to conduct reckless behavior than their peers who do not like this kind of song. And next, so next, music also serves as the basis of establishing relationships in diverse settings and provide a background for romance. Adolescents use music in their process of identifying formation and integration into youth culture. The choice of theme music and their reaction to an interpretation varies with age, culture, and ethnic city. There is a difference in this variable between sex. So, lastly, is a study conducted to review the possible effects of heavy metal music containing sexual or non-violent lyrics on male attitudes towards women revealed that those exposed to heavy metal music with sexual or non-violent lyrics show a negative stereotypical attitude toward women people in the group are otherwise exposed to classical music. Students who like to hear this type of music show that the form consistently show below the current average and primary grade with primary school counseling history for academic problems. Now we continue to the pros and cons of music censorship. Pros of music censorship. It can protect children from profanity, lyrics, and morally wrong concepts. This is because children are easily influenced and are prone to imitating anything they hear or see. Second, it discourages product producers from using short value to sell albums. Many music producers know that dirty lyrics and questionable moral message can come people to listen to their songs so they create offensive new songs to sell albums and increase their ear names and third it promotes respect and political correctness many songs and music videos are deemed unacceptable because they promote racial and gender discrimination as well as other forms of prejudice. So, cons of music censorship. First, it limits artists' freedom to express themselves. Sometimes, the singers and some writers use music to express their creativity, promote peace, change, freedom, and other positive message, and to inspire their fans. Second, it limits listeners' enjoyment of songs. Certain types of music filtering can destroy songs. Beeping and blanking, for example, cause the listeners to hear annoying songs or an unpleasant silence and not full lyrics. Cutting, on the other hand, remove the bad words and lines around them, making the songs sound off or incomplete. With the change, listeners will find it difficult to enjoy not only the song lyrics but also their rhythm. So lastly, 
it can abuse the authorities. There was a time when national leaders meant the some speak of the criticize their policies and encourage the public to rebel or rise against the government. This is common in authoritarian society and it seen as one way the government removes the freedom of its people. In order to prevent problems from opting lyrics in music, every society, especially pediatricians and parents, should really pay attention and be aware of the development of child and adolescent because music plays an important role in their life. In this current society, where new kinds of technologies are created for our own convenience, the social influence of music has now absolutely become huge which, they, which are considered to be a part of growing up. Furthermore, it's essential for pediatricians and parents to take a stand regarding this issue. Therefore, the following rec recommendations are made in order to prevent the corruption of youth minds. Firstly, pediatricians should become familiar with the role of music in the lives of children and adolescents and identify music preferences of the patients as clues to emotional conflict or problems. Secondly, pediatricians should become familiar with the literature available on the effects of music and music videos on children and adolescents. Thirdly, pediatricians should explore with patients and their parents on what types of music they listen to and what music videos they watch and under which conditions they get this media. encourage parents and caregivers to become media literate so that they will be able to access, analyze, and evaluate information which they try to receive through media. Fifth, pediatricians also should advise parents and caregivers to monitor and control the viewing of television according to the age and maturity of their age and adolescence. Sixth, Pediatricians should encourage parents to take an active role in monitoring the type of music to which their children and adolescents are exposed and to be aware of the music they purchase. The next one is further research on the effects of popular music, lyrics and music videos on, the, on children and adolescents is important and should be conducted. Furthermore, performance should be an example of good role models for children and teenagers. Lastly, the music video industry should produce videos with more positive themes about relationships, racial harmony, drug avoidance, non-violent conflict resolution, sexual restraint, pregnancy prevention, and avoidance of promiscuity. In conclusion, with all the violent and sexual explicit lyrics that are found in today's modern music, many people including parents, citizens, educators and even the public in general believe that something must be done to censor them. Censorship can take many forms such as parental advisory labels, banned concerts, banned cover art and raising systems. Not only it is thought that these lyrics are the cause of teenage violence, drug abuse and aggression towards women, but also that they are an obscenity to society as a whole. Censorship is in music is a topic that has brought a lot of controversy for the, part, for the past 20 years. And although there are currently no censorship laws, many individual businesses such as radio stations and retail, retail stores have taken extreme measures to make clear that they do not support obscene or vulgar lyrics in today's music.